I sat on my bed and it broke. So David had to rig the bed up on my side, not his side. What's up, my babes? How are y'all today? Listen, as you can see, this video is a little different from all the other videos. Listen, we is here to talk about what big people don't never talk about. What they don't talk about? Why don't they talk about this stuff? I am Miss Ash. For the ones who don't know, if you are new to this channel, welcome, boo. If you are here, if you are always here, welcome back, love. But yes, let's get into this video because we got some things to cover. Don't forget to subscribe and like. But yeah, we got some stuff to cover. Let's go. So I did put a question on air on my TikTok and I wanted a few of y'all to answer it and y'all did. What um, problems that, first of all, first of all, it's hard being plus size or overweight or obese. I'm gonna be real, it's hard. Whoever lied and said it was real easy, they lie to themselves. But before we get into it, I'm gonna just go through some of the things that y'all told me on, on my page. So, and this is most of the things y'all did say, I done went through all these or still going through it. So don't feel like you alone. And it's not only big people on my page, it's slim people too. So you need to hear this because 95 probably percent, your family be big. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing is I do not really go inside stores and buy clothes because, well, now I probably can, but before I had my weight loss surgery, no, I couldn't, can't not. Maybe a shirt, yeah, but not a whole outfit. No, I was too overweight and they only go up to a two Pacific sizes in the stores. So I had to order my clothes online. That's the first thing. Baby, is this outfit gonna look cute when you go in the store and know it ain't in your size? You know that ain't in your size, but you still get it. Yeah, I ain't never got that. But <laughs> yeah, it's a no for me. So when I do go shoe shopping, I don't go shoe shopping like that because I gotta get a wide because my feet so wide. But let me tell y'all this gag. Let me tell you this gag. My suit, shoe size I usually used to get was a 12. I do not wear no 12, but I had to get a 12 because my feet were so wide. Now that's the thing some of us big people don't talk about. I do not wear 12. My feet is measured at a nine, eight or nine, but I had to get like a 12 for the wide width. Who do that, us big people? Cause it's the truth and you gotta set you free you just gotta tell it i'ma tell it when i bought my bed it took me like a month to find a bed because i was looking for pacific beds heavy duty beds that i know won't break on me i know won't break on me because trust me in the past they came down like tumbling bridges falling down but so let me tell you this gag. Right now, my bed is broke. Before surgery, I don't know if I will tell y'all this. Come in, look. I sat on my bed and it broke. <laughs> so David had to rig the bed up on my side, not his side, on my side, because I had broke it. So that's the one thing, yeah, us big people do go through. If you flop down on that bed, Oh, that bed gonna go if it's not bolted down like heavy duty or bolted down good. But I think because they didn't um, have the right screws. Why do we gotta get Pacific screws or Pacific beds? Why can't I just go in the store and find a light bed and be like, I wanna get in that bed? No, cause in reality, you gonna break that bed. 
I'm just being real. You gonna break that? <laughs> now that's real. It's the couches though. If you flop down on the couch, certain couches. Now some of them couches, ooh, they heavy duty. They is heavy duty. But if you flop down on some of these couches that they, they making now, because they is not steady. If you flop down, you can probably be on the flow. So some of the things we go through in life, couches, bar stools, I don't even sit in bar stools what I used to. I ain't sit in bar stools. Because my family have plus size people. You know how many bar stools we done broke up at my grandma's house or my mama's house? Baby, it's some cheers that we be like, mm -mm, you gotta double them cheers. So it can be steady. They don't talk about that. They do not talk about how sometimes in the morning you don't be wanting to get up because you just tired. Most of us big people is not lazy. We just be tired. We got to carry two and three people with us in one person. Though. We got to carry all this weight. And ooh, don't add the clothes with it. Don't add the clothes because we got to carry all this. Some things that us big people don't talk about. Health. All us big people is not unhealthy. My dad, I only had high blood pressure. I still have it. It's at the bare minimum. But I do still have high blood pressure. But my doctor... Every time she took my blood, she said my blood work is the best blood work she ever seen. But with you carrying so much weight, eventually it's going to cause other problems in your life. I mainly had a problem with high blood pressure and just being tired. I don't want to do that. I'm too tired. I can't fit on rides. I could not fit on Bush Garden rides. Any theme park rides, I wasn't even going to try to fit on because I know I can't fit on the rides. So why would I get on the rides? <clears throat> I have a husband and I have a daughter. And that is taken away from them because they love to go to theme parks. And all I can do is just get on the motor scooter and just ride around till they done. Now, it's a no for me, but it's the truth. It is the truth. We big people don't like to talk about it. That hurts us. It's the truth, though. That hurts my, it hurt my feelings that I could not get on rides with my husband and my daughter. You got to get into it, though. Let's get on the relationships. <clears throat> Everybody think all big people have low self-esteem. Girl, get by. Low self, <laughs> low self-esteem. And you think you're going to use a big person. No, I'm not that fat. Mm, I ain't that fat. I'm not that fat where I'm about to pay all the bills by myself. I ain't that fat. No, mm -hmm, my shoes lean, but it ain't leaning like that. Not that fat. No, I ain't doing none of the above. No, I ain't. No, I might be fat, but trust me, I got morals. You should too. Don't let it hold you back. Some of the stuff we go through, okay, you're going to get through it. It is what it is. But don't let people play you because you got to wait on you like ain't nobody going to love you because you got to wait on you. Baby, let me tell you something. There's some people that will melt their weight off of you. And you won't even know. They'll be loving you so much. They will love you so much and be loving on you till you don't even know your weight just dropping. Because they will take their time with you. Hmm. Crowded places. I really ain't like, I ain't, I ain't really like going into crowded places. Because when you're trying to go to in a club, like a club, bars, restaurants, people cheers be out. You trying to scoop, you trying to scoop by them. And you like, excuse me. I, you got to go in some more. Club, they're gonna look at you like, eh, eh. yeah, slide. Everybody is not the same size. 
one um comment is someone said Uber life or like getting a ride. If somebody got a real small car, it's gonna be hard to fit in their car, like especially if you ain't got no car. It's gonna be hard to get in a car, put on their seatbelt. I wasn't even wearing the seatbelt at first. I ain't know where I see, but it was too tight. It was too tight on me. And plus, I have big breasts. It was too tight. Now, I don't wear a seatbelt. But think of when I didn't have surgery, when I wasn't losing weight. Baby, I wasn't wearing no seatbelt. It is what it is. It's too tight. It is too tight. These are the things we go through being plus size, big, obese, overweight. These are the things we go through. Let's talk about the, sometimes, I don't know if y'all know this, a lot of us big people have rolls. We have rolls. And in them rolls, if you sweat in them rolls, you will not only have dirt in your rolls if you don't clean properly, but you will have like, open sword that you have to put stuff in your cut because once sweat get into your rolls, baby, that's not what's up. That is not what's up. That's why when you see them people on my 600 pound life be having open wounds, open sores, even under breasts. My breasts is so big. I have to keep it clean. I have to keep it clean because it sweats and accumulates and it will have open, you know, cuts under my breast because it's so big. These are the things that big people go through. So when you do see a big person, don't be like, dang, they big, they need to lose weight. It ain't that easy. It is not that easy to just up and lose weight. It's a, it's, yeah, it's a mind thing. But when you used to doing something all your life, eating, emotional eating people do, Baby, now you got to try to change everything in the blink of an eye. So when you do see somebody big, just be like, dang, I, I just, I know they're going to do it. They're going to get them. Because it is hard. That's what everything you do in life, it's hard. So people be like, why you, why you got weight loss surgery? You know why I got it? So I can live. So I can have fun. So I can walk without being tired. That's why I got it. I just wanted to let y'all know that it is hard being big. And that's why some of us make the changes in life. It's hard with everything you do in life, but which heart is you going to pick? Which heart is you going to pick? Keep that in mind. So make sure y'all subscribe. I hope y'all liked this video. I'll see y'all next video.